Hey guys, Farid's here. Today I'm going to talk about uh, DHCP snooping. DHCP snooping is a security feature enabled to or used to check DHCP traffic to block any malicious DHCP uh, packet. It acts as a firewall between untrusted UC ports and uh, DHCP uh, server ports. Uh, on the network to prevent malicious DHCP servers or rogue DHCP servers in the network as this can cause a denial of service. In other words, untrusted interfaces block DHCP server packets such as DHCP offer and DHCP act. And I've got uh, the configuration for the core switch 1, access switch 1, and access switch 2. And I've got a topology here, and let me just explain it uh, a little bit. So I've got a DHCP server connected to the core switch, and uh, two access switches connected to the core switch, and PC1 and PC2 connected to uh, the switches as well. And you can see that I put um, labels here, like the port connected to I mean, the port on the core switch connected to the server, I labeled uh, it as a trusted port because it's, I mean, that's the port where the DHCP is connected to or can be, uh, I mean, is located. And the uplinks on the X switches are also um, uh, marked. Uh, configured, I mean, marked as trusted ports as well. And the downlinks on the access switches are just uh, untrusted ports. And you notice that the downlinks on the core switch are also uh, not trusted ports. So you have to kind of um, like be familiar, I mean, you have to be really familiar with how uh, or with with which port uh, you should configure our configure as trusted ports and which ones you should configure as uh, untrusted ports. So let me go ahead and just configure, I mean, do the configurations. And yeah, so it says here, I mean, I can just uh, also explain the configurations a bit. So we see that I am configuring Ethernet 0 slash 0 as a trusted port. And this is how you enable uh, DHCP snooping on VLANs. This is the command. I'm enabling it on VLAN 1 and 2. And this is just to enable untrusted ports to ports to accept incoming DHCP packets with option 82 information or DHCP relay. And this is how you enable the database agent. And this is how you configure or enable the DHCP, enable DHCP snooping uh, in the global configuration mode. And I've got a note here. Uh, with the DHCP option 82 on a trusted port feature enabled, the switch does not drop DHCP packets that include information, eight, eight, sorry, option 82 information that are received on untrusted ports. So yeah, let me go ahead and do the configurations. Exit. And just and paste, save, and I will also configure the access switches. What's that? Option. Hmm. 
that's weird. Allow. Oh, incorrect. Allow untrusted. Yeah. Wrong command. Okay, switch one is done. Let's save the configurations. Or no, not done yet. I also have to um, configure the rate limit on the untrusted ports. So in this case, where is it? Oops. This case here, zero slash one, Ethernet zero slash one. Go into just copy paste the command. Oops. Yeah, and I got I got a note here that says uh, Cisco recommends an untrusted rate limit of not more than hundred packets per second. Save the config. Let me do. Let me configure switch to exit. Okay. Done. So yeah, so yeah, that's how you can configure DHCP snooping and uh, on the switches. And let me just do or issue this commands, verification commands. So you can see that uh, DHCP is configured, I mean switch, DHCP snooping is enabled. It is enabled or configured on the following VLANs, one and two. And we can see that this port is untrusted port, not untrusted, uh, this port is a trusted port, and this here is also, as you can see here, sorry, and this here is also yes, which is this actually enabled by default, and rate limit is unlimited. Okay, uh, the other command that you can do is actually this. So I'm not going to... I'm not going to um, uh, see any IP addresses here because um, my, my PC here got its IP address before I configured DHCP snooping. And I can also just uh, ping, let me see, let me see if I can ping yeah, the, the core switch. So yeah, I actually tried to try to um, like uh, make this PC one uh, request for a new IP address, but uh, it didn't work when DHCP snooping uh, uh, was enabled. Uh, so sometimes uh, DHCP snooping is uh, kind of hard to kind of hard to, uh, or it, it behaves uh, unexpectedly, uh, if I can see that. So, <laughs> now that I'm uh, talking about this, I can actually just try again, shut, and show you that it's, uh, this IP address or, or this uh, PC one will not get an IP address again. Yeah, it's not getting an IP address. So I had to, I had to uh, disabled uh, THCP snooping on core one and switch one or access switch one and I was able to get an IP address but um, in real world uh, this should not happen uh, even if you know DHCP snooping is configured on the switches 
you should be able to get uh, your client should be able to get an IP uh, an IP address. So yeah, that's all I wanna um, uh, discuss in this video. Again, I I wanna emphasize that uh, you have to uh, really you have to be really familiar with which port should you you should configure as trusted trusted ports and which one you should configure as untrusted ports. So yeah, that's it in this video. Thanks for watching.